Okay, it's forbidden. And reality now has OBS and a lot of people are like, for B, give us a tutorial, give us a walkthrough. So we are going to give you a walkthrough um, from inside the app. Okay, so I'm going to pull up the feature. I'm going to show you how it works. Um, all that good jazz, okay? So it does get a little trippy when we are looking at OBS inside OBS. Um, I'm going to show you what I do. Okay, so again, you don't have to do it this way, but it's just for me, this is what works best. Okay, so let us start our reality stream. Now, this is very important because the OBS feature is not going to work if you do not have a stream up. Okay, so on your PC, you're going to go through, you're going to set up your reality. I will show you how to do this. Um, okay, so as much as I can, because there's some steps I won't be able to show you. All right, so I told my PC, yep, we're doing reality streaming, pull it up. All right, so this is your screen for OBS. Okay, this is my OBS. Um, I can tap it and it's going to be like, okay, now you can drag it, you can move it, you can make it big, you can make it small. Okay, big, small, big, small. That's the size I like to have it be because then you can still see the model and you can see everything that's on the screen. You can scoot it up, wee, up high. Two fingers, two fingers to move it around. Okay, so this is how it works. Now, I'm going to show you how you're going to go and get this. So we are going to go over to the website, right? We're going to go over to your web browser. You're going to go into reality. And at the very bottom of reality web, it's going to say game streaming. Okay, going to click that. I got it one second. I'm gonna make this disappear for one second to make sure it's not going to give any personal information. Um, it's been a while. It's been a moment. Okay, so this is then the screen that you're going to see. Hi, hi everyone. Right. So it's going to say region United States, Japan, Korea, or Taiwan. So that is where you have to be on reality to be able to use this. It did just lower to D1, so D1 to A, and then we are at unlimited. Okay, unlimited amount of time. Okay, which is awesome. Because they were trying to stick us with only 30. This is the stream guidelines. I would suggest reading it. It says what you are and not able to do. And then game streaming on OBS. It then goes down here and it says Windows or Mac. So click the one that is correct for you. And then it will be your little code that you'll have to input. Okay. So you'll then download this, right? So I have Windows, so I click Windows. Um, da -da 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 -da. And it's already downloaded, but this is the, your little, right? It went to go download, okay? This, there will be a little code down here. You'll wanna grab that. Now we'll go over into OBS, right? So here is OBS, very trippy, very crazy. After you restart your computer, you're going to go into Docs, okay? And you'll click Reality. Now, I can't click it right now because then that will turn off the stream, and which that means you won't be able to see it. Um, but yeah, you'll click Reality, and then it will ask you for the code, right? It will ask you for the code that's down here underneath this. It will ask you for the code. You'll put that in. And then it'll be like, okay, you're good to go. When you start the reality stream, it will ask you whether or not you want to monetize it. If you decide not to monetize, the gifts sent to you will be free and it will not count towards your kudos, okay? Um, and you do that if there's any like copyright music. So you'll have to look at some games. So like Fortnite, for example, has copyright music inside Fortnite, and I can pull up this in a later video to give you the example, you are able to turn off your copyright music for stream purposes, okay? Um, and again, coin gifts become free during a non-monetized stream. So you as the streamer, it's like right now, I have monetization on, which means the coin gifts are still at regular price, um, and I can still get kudos because there's nothing here that's copyrighted on my screen, okay? There's nothing that's copyrighted. Now, again, if I'm playing something that has copyrighted things, similar to Twitch and YouTube, you cannot monetize those. 
Um, if you've ever gotten a copyright strike, you'll it will say right on there on like YouTube, uh, copyright strike, this video is not viable for monetization. Okay, so that is something that you as a streamer have to think about. Um, right, so now we're in OBS. When you click the dock, this will pop up. Okay, there might be stuff on top of it. There might not be, you can pop it out as an additional window so you can move it around. Um, you can click to show comments, right? Which will then pull up a whole nother tab that has all of your comments. And then you can click this, resize it and put it over on your OBS screen, okay? To do that, right to grab this you're going to either right we're using a display capture so display is the set monitor okay so i can open up like streamlabs over there on that monitor and it will automatically show up but there's something called a window capture right that will only capture the window it will only capture the tab so if you want to have stuff going on, like if you want to like switch between tabs or like you have two documents pulled up and you have like Canva on one, right? Ah, not, not that, not my weather, right? Um, you have Canva pulled up on one, you have your, this all going on at one. Um, and you don't want people seeing you copy paste and things like that. Window capture is better than display capture. Now, we're going to hop over back to OBS. I'm going to close that. Now, this is regular OBS. Okay, regular OBS. I have Streamlabs, which is a little bit higher up and it's a lot more helpful, right? It's very direct. It's almost streamer for dummies, um, which looks like this okay this is streamlabs streamlabs obs different things okay they're different now you can get something called the streamlabs plugin which lets you use streamlabs and all of your assets over on obs which that means you can then use them in reality okay so i can use all of this stuff in here okay so the biggest thing is scenes right which are your overlay scenes is another word for overlay this is how you get new ones you can import them right so import it'll ask you what you want to import so example cute cats tada right this is all my overlays, offline, online, live screen. And this is where you see all of your different mics and things like that. So right now, I'm not really trying to capture a mic or anything. Um, we're going to hop over to Bear so you can see this. Um, bear. Because this is where I have the overlay set up. So over here on Streamlabs, you can see how it's reacting to mic. So this is me talking. I'm just using bass mic. It's getting picked up. You can see this. Um, again, if you're just streaming on reality, you really don't need to worry about your mics. You really don't need to worry about any of your sounds um, because you're still using your reality mic to talk to chat. Okay. Um, you'll have to do mic testing and things like that. Um, if you were using it on reality, like off reality, if you're using it on Twitch, if you're using it on YouTube. Um, so that would be audio mixer. And as you can see, right, this audio mixer is not moving. And that's because this is a media source. Okay. So if I had like a game, if I had uh, like a show or something like media, that would be picked up with the media mixer. Um, if you want to add anything, right, so if I wanted to add a capture down here to sources, I just add with the little plus button, okay? Same with, like, settings, 
advanced audio, um, and then menu. Okay. You can change all of this. If this is too much, you can go to view and you can toggle things on and off to make it a little bit easier for you to navigate because it is a lot. It's a lot. It can be very overwhelming, which is another reason why I do like Streamlabs and the overlays because it already has everything in, right? Like all of your audio mixing, all of your everything is already here. Um, you can also turn things on and off, right? So game capture is if you are playing a game on your PC um, and it's running, you can capture it that way, right? This is a video capture. So this is going, you're going to use a video capture device. This is if you're using like a capture card um, to pull stuff up. So this is like my dock for my Switch that is specifically what this is. So bada bing, bada boom. We're now on Switch. Um, a, 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 Macarena. Let me get this. There we go. Right. So as we can now see video capture device two, you can now, <laughs> no, you can't because I don't have it. <laughs> All right. Let me, let me get a capture going so you can see um, da, 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 da. we want a display capture so you guys can see this. Um, we, ho we, okay, right? So we're back in here. This is kind of going to be trippy. We, so we're going to shrink this down so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. All right. So this is, this is what's going on, right? And this is what it looks like from my side. When I start to like toggle with my game controller, you can see how it goes green. That is my video capture. And then my switch just turned off, which is why it went rainbow screen, right? Sometimes you have to pick it up, put it back in the dock to get it to like reload, make sure it's in there correctly. So it recaptures. And we're going to click A. And as you can see, that video capture device too, which is what the switch is, um, that's where the audio is coming from. And that's where you should be seeing the green line. Okay. If I click like Fortnite, it's going to be like, okay, log into your account. Bada bing, bada boom. And as you can see, video capture two, that's where the sound is coming from. Download audio. Okay. That's going to take a while. We don't, we're not going to be waiting around for the new Fortnite download. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how you would upload a game. And then it just looks like this, right? Um, how to, again, it's pretty straightforward once you really start getting into it and you really, not my switch telling me, I know. And again, if you just hit the little eyeball button, it makes it disappear. So it's pretty easy. Streamlabs, I highly, highly recommend. It's super easy, super straightforward. It's going to have all of your mics and it is free to an extent. Um, there is a paid subscription, but if you don't want to pay it, that's fine. There are free overlays. There are free tools, free setups that are automatically done. You can buy things individually. There is an annual subscription fee or a monthly subscription fee. It starts at like $12 for a month. Um, the year is like 160, I think for the annual sub, um, for like base annual sub. But also with that, you get a lot of additional tools. You get all of the Streamlab tools like editor, you get the Streamlabs podcasting on top of Streamlabs streaming. So if you, it also gives you multicast, which is also like the highlight of Streamlabs is that you are able to do one feed, but you're able to do it over to Twitch. You're able to do it over to YouTube. You are able to do the X, TikTok, all that good stuff all at once. Okay. So I hope this helps. I hope it makes it a lot easier for people to use. All right. I will see you all later. Shana. Bye.